Hey everybody, it is the last week of the most wretched year of my entire life yet, 2016. Today has not been a very good day. Um, there have been a couple of high profile celebrity deaths in one day, and it is taking a lot for me to be able to like, be cheery right now. Because it's hard. But, a couple weeks ago, before, before the actual holidays, before all that, I went to the store and I dropped serious cash on stupid amounts of snackies. Like, like holiday like seasonal Like holiday snackies. seasonal snackies. Uh, nobody has paid me for this. I've paid for it. We've all been and suffering and paying. We will all pay for it as a result. So, what's going on today is that behind the scenes Karen and I hey. are going to be taste testing a holiday hangover's worth of seasonal snack foods. So let's get to it. Alright. First up, right, first um, up, we have... You, what, okay. I'm gonna go... Ooh, there's two oh, per package. We are doing the... This, the those. Drake's Cherry Cream Yodels. Um, the Frosted Cream Filled Devil's Food Cakes. There are two in a package. You mean a smush um, one? Yeah, I don't like cherry, so I don't know how this is gonna go. One for me and one for behind the scenes, Karen. They smell pretty good, actually. Oh yeah, that's good. They're gonna be fine. All right. It tastes like cough syrup. It legitimately tastes like Robitussin. Specifically Robitussin. Like, it's the fake cherry flavor. Like, it, it didn't hit me at first, but specifically the fact that it's with dark chocolate oh, makes it really is, Robitussin. -y. This is medicinal and not in a good way. Oh god, I do not even want to finish this. This is really bad. Well, that was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot worse. It was worse than I thought. Oh. Alright. Well, let's, let's, um, let's give those to mom. They're limited edition. They're a collector's item. Ugh. Next up, we have Christmas tree cakes, which are a favorite of Karen's, but they're a little bit different. This time, they are the red velvet Christmas tree cakes. Small Deborah has outdone herself. Small Deborah. Yeah, small Deborah. Otherwise known as little, little, little Debbie, 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 Debbie. Small Deborah. Ooh, these are. You had these for how long? I bought them in the beginning of the month. They should be fine. They don't go bad. Um, first show everybody the back of the cake. Oh yeah. So this is the back of the cake. I mean that that's not a problem. I just wanted you to see it because it green frosting. Yeah. Makes for things to be very disgusting sometimes. Although, these look and smell tasty, so. Mm. This is a fine cake. It's okay. It's exactly as good as the other thing was bad. I, yeah, well, no, I think the other thing was worse. This is just okay to me. Has a weird taste to it, but I thought... I find that a lot of, like, the shelf-stable snack cakes have a weird taste to them now. No. The chocolate ones do. Do they? Mm-hmm. You'll probably not notice that about the eggnog one. Okay, well, I, I hope not, because I'm looking forward to those. The, uh, the red dye from the chocolate cake, from the red velvet cake. You know, red velvet cake is red because of food dye and food dye alone. It is seeping into the cream filling and oh, discoloring the cream filling. Well, we are... This is just so much food dye, and I think that's what we're tasting. Probably. All right. That's probably also what was wrong with those cakes. The the yodels. Yeah. The red food dye. Yeah. In them. All right. Next up is the one that I'm actually looking forward to. These are the eggnog cake rolls, also by Little Debbie. Eggy, eggy, cakey, cakey. Look at that. Doesn't that look 
that sweet. Nice little design. It's like a little Swiss roll. And I love eggnog as, as can be evidenced by that. Which if you, you guys have me. not seen, you should go watch. A filled roll cake with a frosting drizzle, mm. which is the same frost. I mean, I know they make zebra cake rolls, which are incredible. Do they? Uh huh. They're better than regular zebra cakes. I can't get mine out of the package. All right. Oh no. It tastes like nog. That is weird. But first, you just get hit with cinnamon. It's not cinnamon. It's nutmeg. Oh, well, there's cinnamon in it too. But like at first, I just got hit with cinnamon, and it tasted a lot like those pumpkin spice ones. Ugh. The pumpkin spice Twinkies that we couldn't eat. Oh, those are bad. Um. Yeah, it's it's decent. I wouldn't get it again. But it I would definitely like need a whole quart of milk to eat one though. Mm, yeah. Um, I can't finish that. And I like this sort of stuff. Okay. Uh, okay guys, maybe I gotta be a little bit realer here. That was not pleasant. That tasted so artificial and like the I think it needs to be cold. Mm. I think that if they were like in the fridge that would be or a lot more tolerable something. because all I could taste was like the shelf stable cream. Yeah, the, the shelf stable like cream. This is just vegetable shortening. Yeah. Like it's it's like one of the reasons why I don't really like Cool Whip. Yeah. I'm not So they weren't they were out of the three we tasted, I think that was the best one. But that's not saying much. I think the red velvet ones were the best, but I I think Sometimes with the seasonal stuff, they just gotta stick to what actually works. Yeah, and I think my 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 issue is that I don't typically like those shelf stable cakes. I keep calling them shelf stable because they're not refrigerated. Like if you go to the bakery and you buy a cake, you most it's of the time refrigerated. you need to keep it in the refrigerator. To those I just I've they're not so really jam- been a fan. They're so you can taste the the preservatives to keep it on the shelf and. A lot of this, the holiday ones in particular, you can taste the flavors that they're using, but they're like super artificial. Yeah. Like I mean, for me, I can I can taste the food dye. I. Yeah. That's why the for me these are way better than the Christmas trees, because these didn't have food dye in them. Mm. They are totally eatable. Yeah. Um. Probably, if I had that like out of the fridge. I would think it was pretty good because also chilled food tones down the flavor some. All right, so let's move on to Keebler's. Has, Keebler came out with a fudge stripes peppermint for the season, and I believe it's like white fudge. Yeah, and let so. me just tell you, out of everything that we've looked at so far, this smells the best. Yeah. It smells like real, actual cookies, and it looks good that too. I, um... Ooh. It's like a a mild thin mint without like, the. It's like eight times better than anything we've had. This so is far. really good. Oh yeah. Genuine recommendation, and not just because it's better than the previous two bad things we already ate. It's like a mild thin mint. Mmm, mm, these are so good. These are really good. Holy heck. We will eat the rest of these. We'll probably throw a lot of stuff out, and mm. I hate that we're gonna have to do that. No, oh, let's give it to my parents. They're my parents, too. Our parents. You see me about food waste, though. So I just had a massive coughing fit, unrelated to everything else. But anyway, that was the last of the cakey cookie stuff the that I purchased. Goods. The baked goods section. Now we are moving on to the sweets. Candies, so, like, there are candies, so much mint. Yeah, is a lot, lot of mint's gonna happen. Oh, God, we're gonna Karen, die. you don't have to eat that. Karen doesn't do mint. I'm not gonna do one of one of these. these so the first, first up, we have the Brock's Christmas Nougats, and this looks like I mean a nougat, I guess. It's like a Millefiori type design uh, piece of candy. Yeah, and I think they're supposed to be like the texture of one of those cow tails. 
Yeah, they're they're squishy. They're like a hard squishy. No, they're not. They're okay. I think the fall foods that we have were a lot better than these. Um, I kind of have high hopes for these. I will try one of these. These are the Hershey's Peppermint Bark Bells. Yeah. They are a very sweet little design. Nicely wrapped. Um, and when you when you open them, I'm in the process you of open doing them it. up. The top. Oh, these are cute. Okay, Elise, you guys see mine? My guy has a little smiley face accidentally on. Oh, that's cute. Like here, you guys can see. Uh, no, they can't see. Well, maybe you can't see, but I would have to manually focus it. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, there you are. I mean, it's the kind of thing that I probably couldn't eat all a whole bunch at once. Oh, they smell way stronger than I thought they were going to. But they're not bad. If I'm gonna suffer through chocolate and mint, I want it to be Andy's mints. Yeah, Andy's mints are a perfect I mean, ball of balance. I think <laughs> if you like chocolate mint, yeah. Those are really good. They have a much stronger mint than the an Andy's mint. Yeah, it's, it tastes the chocolate tastes darker. It doesn't taste like milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. But they're not bad. Yeah. I do not think that is a bad product. I think that would be great for someone who was a mint fan, someone who likes like pure mint ice cream and stuff like that. Yeah. Or, so next, I think next up in the in the mint trials we have white um, peppermint M and M's. White peppermint M and M's. You okay? I'll give you two of these because they're yeah, give me one of each color. Or they are. They are white and red. White and red. They have the M on them, as you do. Down the hatch. I'm gonna bite it in half. These are nice. They're you know what I'm learning? I really don't like mint. I really, really don't like mint. But these are a better mint chocolate than the peppermint, than the bark bells were. These aren't as strongly minty. Because I think that the white chocolate mellows it out a bit. The other ones were in white chocolate, too. I think that this just, they didn't use yeah. as much of, like, I prefer the those. flavor. I, I might actually finish those. Yeah, you're going to have to finish these. Well, yeah, you don't eat mint. Oh. Except for this. And then the last... The la no, the la not the last. The last candy. The last candy we have. We are revisiting our old friend, the Marshmallow Peeps. And we have Christmas cookie scented and flavored... Marshmallow Peeps. It is a cookie flavored marshmallow with white fudge at the bottom. I'll give you this middle one. I don't and they look a little weird. They're a little derpy. They're they're a little shriveled. Um, they appear to have gold and silver edible glitter oh, on them. You're right. They're very she she. These are probably However. the fanciest peeps I've ever eaten. Here it goes! candies. Everything still tastes like mint. If we tried this first, it would have been a lot better. If yeah, they're like mellow. Hey, marshmallow. I finally got the marshmallow flavor. Everything's still in my mouth. Whole my whole mouth is tasting. And the, oh, see, Elise has water to drink between sips and between bites. I have orange juice. So, like, the genius that I am, I was like, oh, let me take the mint things and then drink the orange juice. No bad. Anyway, I didn't, I still can't taste The this. last snack that I purchased firmly falls into the weird category. I tried to find more things that would just, like, raise eyebrows, but mostly everything that they offer for Christmas is just like, oh, you know, mint this. Candy canes. There's so much mint. Oh my god. You know, red and green, whatever. And then there's our fr old friend, the Pringles. Who could not come up with a very good slogan. It could be like Chris Pringle or, you know, Pringle Bells. No, what's their slogan? Mary Pringles. That's adorable. I Okay. <laughs> when you... We have pre-opened these. You have pre-opened them. Okay, well... I thought it would, ca it would cut down on a lot of the packaging noises if we pre-opened the snacks. And you'll thank me 
you'll thank me when you watch this. But they come with a little paper, like, safety seal that says, you don't just eat them. And I'm like, Mr. Pringle, what do you think I am doing with these? Now, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, these are sugar cookie flavored Pringles. I don't know who over at Pringle HQ decided that, hey, we need to do weird, like, sweet flavors for Probably Christmas. Probably Brian. Freaking Brian. Brian it's always Pringle. Brian. Brian Pringle. <sighs> so, let's pop. Because Pringle is a family name. I mean, it's a Pringle. It's yeah, a it's, potato. A, it's a regular potato Pringle. Dried potatoes is the first ingredient. <laughs> Who ever heard of a sweet potato? I'm a little nervous about this one. But... You should be. I don't think you're going to like them. But I do. Why would you do that? It's not sweet salty enough to be salty and sweet. It's just sort of middle of the road. Sorry, at least I both still have these horrible it calls. It tastes like a potato cookie. Which, like, mm, gluten-free maybe? I don't know. But... No, they're not! This contains wheat ingredients! These are not gluten-free! So why would you... Why didn't... Can this I have... This was not a good... Can I have... Thank. You can have... That was not a good. I mean, um, oh boy. Um, oh, you know what? This, these Pringles don't really taste like cookie. They just taste like a Pringle without any salt on it. These Pringles just taste naked. These taste like completely unflavored, unsalted Pringles. There's like a hint that maybe there's, it was no, there's near, definitely sugar on it. It was like near sugar at one point. It's just but not good. Not enough to be sweet and not enough to be salty and not enough to be... Yeah. Elise loves some salty sweet. Oh yeah. The salted caramel, yes, sign me up. Uh, take five bars, sign me up. But this is not That is not a good. Effective. That is not a good. I think they're good, but I don't think they're effective. Ugh. Alright, anyway. Uh, out of all of the stuff that I put in my face today, I think that the peppermint fudge stripes were the best. Fudge stripes were the only thing I consider actually yeah, good. Yeah, that was the only thing that I would consider buying again. Everything and else to get more. Everything, everything else, else either meant the bare re minimum requirements for edible, or was just or bad. Was inedible. So Christmas cakes dropped the ball this year. I'm I am disappointed. I know the 2016 has been kind of hot garbage for like, a lot of people, but. Usually we have some kind of a saving grace and snack cakes, and we didn't have that. God, um, it's like they know. It's like they know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you liked what you saw, let me know. Did you actually like any of these things? Tell me about it. Uh, leave a comment. Share it around. Let your friends see our If misery. you have recommendations for things that don't taste like rat ass... Let us know yeah. in the comments. Please. Let me if, did I miss something? Was there something that was regionally available that I didn't or that I didn't or couldn't get? Let me know. Canada, are you doing any better? How are you doing, Canada? You doing alright? Anyway, I think that's all the time we have for today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is getting near the end of Elise Navidad, and I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you liked what you saw, leave a like or a comment, and for even more, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, Elise is kind of low energy today, but we have a lot of snacks to try to make it through this last wretched week of 2016. Can we do it? And is the snacks any good? Find out after her intro.